Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick. Oh, wait a minute, the hot news today. Oh, wait a minute, Las Vegas, talk about being exciting. Okay, how many times do you have, it's like right out of the movies. Yes, one car runs into another and they blow up. Ooh, wait a minute, and there's gunfire, and the strips get shut down. It does sound like it's right out of the movies. Maybe that's what they were doing. Anyway, we're going to bring Old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And of course, this week it's Oscar week, but they're still saying it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, because the Republicans, it shows the President of the United States is winning this, this campaign about all of these cuts. The people are demanding no cuts. And then I heard one of the, other, one of the people, and he said that one of the uh, people over in Bloomberg said, he said, uh, to be perfectly exact, is that the press that supports the president says the people are supporting the president. Yeah. And, the, and the people, they're not bothering to inform people there are no cuts. Mm -hmm. It is cuts in future spending. There are, they, said oh. not, they said not one person that is, that is working right now will lose his job. They just, really? He said, that what it amounts to, we're not going to hire 20 new inspectors. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to hire, we're not, we're not going to, and we're not going to build uh, two new aircraft carriers. We're not going to do this. Well, they weren't going to build the aircraft carriers anyway. They weren't going to buy a hundred airplanes. Mm -hmm. They weren't mm -hmm. going to do this and that. There is no there is no cut in spending. It is $85 billion of future spending that will not be done. It was increases and in, they, they didn't even, they said, they didn't even go back to last year's level of spending. This is cuts in next year's level of spending, which is 10% higher than this year's. Mm -hmm. And that amounted to 2% of their 10% increase. Ah. But they did say it's actually, um, uh, they said it's, it's something like seven hours of the president's budget they're going to not have. Seven hours? Yeah, seven oh. hours. What's the three and a half trillion dollar budget? Uh, and Danica Patrick and Jessica Alba showing, well, comparing assets, showing yeah, off their assets. I know. Checking <laughs> out assets. You just have to figure out what that means. That's as close as we can get to tell you about that. And Obama expresses doubt about a March 1st deal to head off cuts. It's not going to happen. The, the, the Obama, Obama basically can be very charming and he can be very witty as long as he's got a teleprompter in front of him. When he gets off the teleprompter, they want to, they basically want to hang him in effigy because he sort of did something that the Republicans are jumping on. Well, he said that I, you know, we, we need to change the priority of where the cuts are being done. And I need to know, I have to have this authority to change where the cuts are being done. And they said, okay, you become the fall guy. And now they're trying to back off of Obama actually doing something like the president because Obama doesn't do anything. They, oh, here they said, here, okay, what we would think should be cut is the hundred some million dollars you and your wife are spending on going luxury trips with five or six hundred people. You playing golf all over the world. You doing this. Your wife, your wife going off to Malaga, Spain on a vacation. You know that's the first thing we'll cut out. Then the next thing we'll cut out is all of those things that all of your cabinet members are doing that's supposed to be illegal. That should all be cut out. And they said that we could actually get. They said that we could probably cut forty-five billion dollars out of the things that the executive branch is doing, like. Um, the, you know, well, I think we should stop rubber stamping tens of billions of dollars of your green projects that you're now selling to China at discount rates without any hearings on them. Mm -hmm. So that he, they are, Democrats are not happy with the president opening his Ooh. mouth again because they will pass the thing, putting it on his head, which domestic programs get cut. Mm -hmm. And loggerheads over oil territory and other disputes and came close to war in April. Oh yeah, uh, okay, the, okay it, it's a different type of war. The British, it looks like the Canadians are going to sell the Canadian Petroleum Company. If Obama doesn't get off his ass, they're going to sell the oil, and the, not only the oil, but the whole company to the Chinese, which means that's, you know, that's our oil, we discovered it, and now they're going to sell it to the Chinese because the president has got stuck with environmentalists. The unions are pissed off about this because the, the, they don't have the same labor laws in Canada that we do here, which means they'll just bring in Chinese laborers from through Vancouver to do the, all of the oil exploration now for the company. And so the Canadians lose work, and they, they're blaming the President of the United States on the fact that they may have to sell it to another company. And what school foods are in and what foods are out? Oh, and, okay. If the First Lady <laughs> approves of it, it's in. If she doesn't, don't go... 
<clears throat> let's put it this way. They just, they just did another thing on peanut butter. First lady does not think that peanut butter should be served, so peanut butter just got hit again. Again? It, again. I mean, it's, it's already like $3 a container higher than it was before. That is like totally... And she hates peanut butter. She hates it with a passion because, as I understand, uh, our president loves it, and she thinks that, that, you know, he's tall and too trim, that that peanut butter is not good because the girls see him eating it. So remember, under Michelle Obama's thing, that you should not um, that you should not have steak because someone in the building might not be able to eat it, so you shouldn't have it. So President Obama actually likes peanut butter. Yeah. Oh, and she um, and she <laughs> thinks it's uh, bad for the girls because it would might make them fat, which means she also loves peanut butter. I'm assuming. Uh, and metal metal detectors not working day of school shooting. I know. They. I mean, it's taken them long enough to make that statement. They did have. Okay, they Wait, had. The new the thing in I think Connecticut, the uh, they actually had a security system in place that wasn't turned on. They could have never got through, and they're all finding out. Well, then security guards weren't really needed if they'd have actually been doing their job. Which means now the school district is going to be they're going to lay lit litigation on that school district. They're going to ask them who didn't turn the metal protectors on that are there to prevent people from doing something like that. And hotel guests use water with a dead body in it. Oh, God. I mean, they're trying to, well, they figure a body has been in a tank, in the hotel's water tank for two weeks. They've been drinking it. They've been mm -hmm. cooking with it. They're, because what happens in hotels, because they can't pump the water up, they have to use a, they have to use it, a, fill a huge tank on the top of the building, and then the water comes down gravity fed. But she's been deteriorating for, a woman's been deteriorating for weeks, which means, pers I, I'm assuming since the water, you know, the, all the water wasn't boiled, you're going to have, and everybody that's staying there is going to get very sick. And mm -hmm. that, um, you want to know how you spread something like uh, typhus? Oh. Yeah, that's how you get it, folks. Which means you could, um, you could end up having a, thing, a disease like typhoid <laughs> fever being spread worldwide because, uh, uh, okay, the water had to stink like hell. It it's really like had to smell. I mean, they just assumed well it's because what? of all the junk oh. they add to Los Angeles water. That was here? It was in a it was in one of the hotels in Los Angeles. A tourist that had been missing two weeks body was found. They they had to do routine maintenance on the tank uh, because uh, she was deteriorating and basically filling the filter system filtration system up with the deteriorating body parts and then they found their body and it'd been at least they figure at least two weeks she'd been in that water and they're contacting everybody and they I mean, you're looking at the possibility of an academic that is unbelievable in proportion. Oh my gosh, I'm like, like disgusted. Yeah. Um, a small jet crash kills five in eastern Georgia. I know, executive jets with people that shouldn't be flying executive jets. Oh. And Americans trim their fast food consumption slightly. Well, yeah, because they're not really trimming it like you, you would think. They're trimming it because our president and his wife are trying to make it impossible. They're putting all the, this junk in the fast food restaurants. Like Arby's is no longer a beef place. Arby's is fish and chicken. Uh, McDonald's has got god awful big salads like you would not believe. I mean, they look like you're going over to, you know, to a, a salad bar, and this is the people aren't buying it since that's what they're pushing, and they're not buying. I mean, we, we actually went over and had their McBites, their fish McBites, which are really crappy, folks. I mean, they, 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 uh, they look like they've been dumped, you know, dipped, you know, cooked heavily in oil. They take, and they, you can't dip them in anything because they disintegrate immediately, so you pick them up with your fingers. That's what, the, that's what Michelle Obama wants the country to be like. Mm -hmm. America, oh, and don't worry, congressional pay is protected from sequester cuts. Well, yeah, because mm -hmm. it's, it has not, they weren't getting a pay raise. Since they weren't getting a pay raise, it's not included in a, in a, on the budget. There, there are no cuts. They're all starting to, even the Democrats, uh, on like Bloomberg, are trying to explain the fact there are no cuts. And if there were a cut, it's like seven hours of government spending. It said no one will miss the $45 billion in, in, uh, in discretionary spending or the $45 billion this year in, in defense spending because it's not until next year. It said right now they got... 12 months from March 1st to the next March 1st to fix another problem, or they got $85 billion no one will mix next year. Mm -hmm. Well, because they're going to increase the budget again, so. And a Monty bubbleism from Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Sometimes all you have to look just to see.